All right, let's talk about Nylon 6.6. What is Nylon 6.6? What do we use it for? So here's the structure. Why do they call it Nylon 6.6? It has to do with the number of carbons present. Let's count them together. The chain can be thought of as two segments that come together, right? You've got this first segment right here, then you've got this second segment right there, right? So let's count the carbons. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And then this blue atom right there is a nitrogen. And then you start the second part of the chain, one, two, three, four, five, six carbons, and then you've got another nitrogen. So they call it 6-6 six, six because it has six carbons and then a nitrogen and then six carbons and a nitrogen, right? And what's interesting about the structure is that you get these... Um, these double bonds to oxygens coming off the side, right? So right here you see this, this is an oxygen hanging off to the side. And then you've got this hydrogen hanging off here, and a hydrogen here, and an oxygen there. What can happen is that these can come together and you get hydrogen bonding because of that, right? So hydrogen bonding between these chains can make for quite strong polymer. And nylon 6.6 is a really strong polymer, right? Strong, rigid, thermally stable because you have stronger interchain bonding, right? Uh, these chains can also be really easily aligned, so you get really good strength along the polymer chain direction. Um, this strength is really the reason why they use these things for things like zip ties. If you use zip ties before, these are very often made of nylon. Um, if you are a rock climber, uh, climbing rope, if you were to investigate the inner core of this material, is uh, nylon typically, nylon 6.6, 6, because it's great strength, you need to be able to withstand falls and you know dynamic as well as static loading on these. So that's one way to do it is to achieve it with these materials. So that's their applications, toothbrush bristles, uh, lots of fibrous materials is, is the application for nylon 6.6. 6. Also, it has a really cool polymerization demo, which I'll be making in the near future, where ben essentially you start out with the monomer for this one and the monomer for that one, and you pour them one on top of each other, and right at their intersection where those two films meet, it forms nylon, and then you can just keep on pulling it, and it will just keep on creating as we go. So I'll have a video on that soon.